Come and sit and while, and I'll tell you a story. Recall faded glories and honor the dead. And I hope that a smile might crack all of your faces and care nor worry escape from your heads. I'll tell of some lads of exceptional qualities, all of them geniuses truly unique. Sure a gambler might bet the last bill in his wallet would wager I'd sing of the classical Greeks. For philosophy, mighty, and pure cogitation, there is none to compare with the classical Greeks. And if thinking were drinking and jollification, an ocean of booze wouldn't last but a week. The Pocrates, Plato, and good old Pythagoras, Socrates, Zeno, Partagoras too. Don't forget Harry Stottle, his blood should be bottled. Fair play to the whole philosophical crew. Now Homer composed a poetical potion of versification, the best in the world. He juxtaposed Greeks and athletical Trojans, and to the equation he added a girl. He called the Iliad, rhyming until he had filled up his head and the ten-gallon hat. When he started the Odyssey, friend said, my God, is he going to remember a mouthful like that? <laughs> now Hippocrates, surely the first of physicians, gave medical science a shot in the arm. A doctor, he said, must obey one condition, whatever you do. Don't you do any harm. His mother was proud of his fine occupations. His fortunes applauded by folks far and near. But he secretly grieved that his earthly duration preceded the golf club by 2,000 years. <laughs> so three cheers to this classical civilization. May songs in their honor forever be sung. May each singer be granted a standing ovation and glorification from each level long. An age of pure gold then reflected their brilliance. But soon we are told the whole joint went to pot. For though genius infected these Greeks by the millions, not one MBA in the whole sorry lot. <laughs>